Taking off your glasses and pulling on a cape and a pair of tights is not all that much of a disguise and new research shows there really is little excuse for Lois Lane not to realize Clark Kent is Superman when watching him in action. Scientists have found the way in which someone moves plays a large part in being able to identify them. While faces are important, it appears we take a mental snapshot of someone's body, their gestures and mannerisms too. As social animals, our need to interpret and predict the actions of others has made us particularly sensitive to human movement. It means when Clark Kent takes his glasses off to fight crime, he is still recognizable. While we can also judge someone's gender, age and emotional state simply by the way they move. Researchers at Aberdeen University proved the point by creating two computer-generated men, Joachim and Dennis, and asking people to identify them. One of the characters performed professional karate movements, with another given amateur moves. When their faces were jumbled, participants were still able to identify them based on their movement despite being given no guidance to do this. Interestingly, the less we can recognize someone, the more the study showed we rely on watching them in action. Dr. Karen Pills, from the School of Psychology at the University of Aberdeen, said, The current perception is that identity recognition is usually done on faces alone but obviously body motion is also important because we usually see people as whole bodies. Even in difficult conditions. We are really good at person recognition and so, I think it's important to understand that we're using information other than faces so we can get an insight into how we achieve this unique skill. The face remains the main source of information we use when recognizing others, but body movement recognition kicks in far more strongly when we cannot recognize them. The British study confirmed this by using faces with the same hairstyle, ears and face outline, so that people were not distracted by other factors. Yo Joachim was given the professional karate moves and Dennis the amateur ones before their faces were morphed. The 16 participants in the study asked to identify Joachim or Dennis then used their movements to judge who they were. This judgment became so important eventually that even when the face contained more of Dennis's features than Joachim's, people still used the movements to judge who it was over facial characteristics. Dr. Pell said, Our results show that we are able to use body motion when other cues are ambiguous or unavailable. So we basically assume that we can use body motion as a reliable cue to identity when other information is less available or reliable such as when a person is far away or when they're in bad lighting conditions. I've always questioned why Lois Lane doesn't recognize Clark Kent or why Bruce Wayne has never been identified as Batman. Now we know that they should be recognized based on their body motion.